So let's see. So first of all, I am going to close all these extra windows. Now actually, I'm going to leave my Gmail open. So where is my Gmail? I don't see my Gmail. All right, now I'll close all my other windows. OK. And I'll open up GitHub. MVC, MVC Framework, which is short for Model View Controller, which we'll get into all of that in a little while. The goal here for this MVC Framework <laughs> is that I'm going to want, so that if I go to localhost slash, uh, let's see, um, stream startup slash, whatever, let's pretend we had a website working and I had www.livestreamstartup.com slash and I have maybe something like account slash account info maybe a page like this where you would log in and you would see your profile or maybe things like that or maybe I have account slash profile things like that so in a very general sense what my what my MVC framework is going to allow me to do is to create this kind of structure where the URL will be read and it will be determined what it is that I'm trying to do and there will be different classes to handle different things that I'm going to do. Yeah, I explained what the actual app is earlier um, but just very briefly it's going to be a website that will allow people who have skills like web development or programming or whatever to post profiles and then people who are looking to hire can go through those profiles and choose who they're going to hire which is going to be a big difference from what generally is out there right now where people who are looking to hire go and post their project and they get a thousand emails from people who say they can do it so that's that's basically the idea now livestreamstartup.com is is just going to be devoted to this side of things which is the actual live stream so that's a website where I'm going to put the live streams on video recordings, things like that at some point. Right now I really just uh, register the domain as a proactive measure. I haven't really done anything with it yet and I don't know if what I do with that domain will happen during these live streams or not. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the next step. So let's see. What I'm going to want to do is create an Apache dot access file and right off of the top of my head I don't remember the syntax that I'm looking for so I am going to log into one of my other servers briefly and look at a file that I already made and that'll only just take a minute so hold on here I am going to have to turn off the stream briefly and I'll be back shortly Okay, I'm back. So, this is the specific syntax that I was looking for. I'm going to be putting it over here, so here we go. Okay, rewrite engine on. Okay, that should do the trick. Alright, what this does is it will mean that anything someone plugs into the URL is going to be processed through index.php, which doesn't exist yet, but it's about to. That's all it is right now.
there we go. And now if we look at the GitHub page under my repository, we can see that the index.php exists. Now the .ht access I don't think will get uploaded here because it's a hidden file and reason it's a hidden, see if I type ls I don't even see it, but if I type ls-la there it is. Now if I really want to add it into the repository I, I can do that by specifying it directly but I really don't need to do that. So let's see. Alright, so now we have this is probably the last thing that I'm going to do here. Now this isn't going to work right now because I haven't yet told Apache to use HT access files. It's probably turned off by default. I'm pretty sure that it is, but just for the fun of it. Okay, see, if, if this was working, instead of, instead of this saying not found, it would have actually processed through index.php. So there's a few things I have to do right now. The first is I have to enable mod rewrite. I believe I do that like this. Yep. Okay, A2 and mod rewrite enables mod rewrite, which is where you see right here, rewrite engine on, that's mod rewrite. So I have to enable it. All right, now the next thing is, I probably have, let's see if that did a trick first. Nope. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is I have to find my Apache configuration file and tell it to use HT access. So first, I think it's here. There we go. Allow override none needs to be all. Yeah, I'm just going to set it everywhere. All right. And now it should work. Yep, there you go. Okay, that's where we'll stop today. I, I figure with the different pauses and everything, it probably turned out to be maybe about 30 minutes of me working. But here's what we achieved today. Uh, we set up an Amazon EC2 account, sort of. I'm sure that it will be set up by tomorrow. One way or another it will be. And we set up a GitHub account as well as how to use it. And we also set up a local web server which we can use to do some development on. And I showed you the basics of how to make the URL uh, how do I want to say it? The, the basics of an MVC framework where you have a dynamic URL that's getting processed by a, a program. So there you go. So now is the questions and answers period. And it's basically going to continue for as long as I am able to stay here, which pretty much means until I get hungry enough to go eat dinner.